Anna Sui wears her inspirations on her sleeve, and on her skirt, and on her jacket, and on her stockings. But the remarkable thing, I think, is that there's a story that evolves underneath all the other little stories she's telling, and it's her story. We're looking at, you know, Anna's inspiration board, and she had pre-pop Warhol illustrations. It's just completely sheer and completely natural. When you're handed an, a, a set of inspirations as complex as Anna's are this season, what's your first response? You just have to go with the clothes, which is, you know, young and fresh and rock and roll. Behind it all is rock and roll. And it could be different stages of rock and roll, but there's always, like, that rock star that I'm thinking about. kiss when I was 14 years old. I'm expecting to see beautiful pieces and everything that makes her amazing. Now you have a great business with Anna. What is it that is so appealing about her? The Anna Sweet collection is always so much fun. Um, within every collection there are some most amazing pieces. Party dresses and sweaters and color. It's always irresistible. If you go back to all your collections, no matter how different the inspirations are, there are certain really it's an ongoing theme. I guess that's you, it's telling your story. There's always that initial reason why I wanted to go into fashion, because certain types of fabrics or certain types of shapes. If I have a jacket that I would think Brian Jones would wear, like a double-breasted pea coat sort of jacket. I'd have boots that like Christine Keeler would wear. And then I have like dresses that like Marion Faithful would wear. Behind it all is rock and roll. I think when people see the whole show, it can be sometimes a bit overwhelming because everything's layered, and, um, but it's actually very satisfying to pull it apart and to find that amazing dress. I love the faux fur leopard jacket, and I love the juxtaposition of the, the leopard print with the um, bronze biker boot. We're seeing a lot of biker boots. I guess I started thinking about redecorating, and we just kind of carried it further and further into the upholstery thing, so you, hence you see the fringe at the end. Tie backs. <laughs> it was a fun collection to do. It was kind of like decorating, but onto clothes. It's like you get to delay witness to a creativity explosion. And in her hands, it's so masterful. She sticks to her guns. She believes in what she does. She's consistent. She's admirable. She's honest. She's a great one to look for if you're entering the fashion industry. Do you feel an obligation to be optimistic now? I don't think I can change. We have to go on. We have to make beautiful things and make people smile. It's important.